Hi everyone, it's Tracy Ann here and I just wanted to come to you. I'm super excited today because um, recently Mented, which is one of my favorite brands, you all know that, reached out to me um, because they were having a contest on being flawless over 50. And so I entered and I won and I'm really excited today because Mented sent me some lipsticks. They sent me a lipstick trio so it's um, a lip gloss, which is baby brown. I'll show that to you. They sent me a beautiful red, which I, I had on the other day in one of my pictures, and it's called Red Carpet Gorgeous. Okay, let me show you that. Ooh, and it is a it it looks like it's a blue based red. And then they also sent me Mented Number no. Five, which is one of their classic shades, and it's funny. Uh, this is it because I don't have it. I have New Lala, but I don't have Mented Number no. Five. So I'm super excited to share those with you today. And what I'm going to be doing is almost a full face of Mented. So what I'm going to do is just swatch them on for you. So I'm going to use new, uh, Mented Number no. Five, so you can see what it looks like. And if you're not familiar with Mented, they have the most beautiful nudes um, out there. So this is uh, Mented number five. Okay. And now I'm going to swatch red carpet for you. I'm just gonna put it on so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a pretty red. It's not too fire, but it's just enough heat on there. And this is a matte lipstick. And can I tell you, it is so moistening. I, I'm surprised it's a matte. So if you are not familiar with mented lipsticks, check them out, okay? And then here is Baby Brown, the lip gloss. Okay, super moistening. So those those are the three shades that they sent me um, for the Flawless Over 50. And I'm super excited to pick one of these and show it to you in a full face. So keep watching. Okay, so let's get right into this, okay? So first and foremost, yes, I did prime. So I'm using Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer. And I do have my little headband here that I got in this um, set from Sephora just to keep those edges from having any powder in it, okay? Because I can get a little bit messy. So this, I'm using my Mented, I'm going to use Mented Foundation Sticks for both my foundation and for my concealing. And so I'm going to be using M20, which is my shade. And you can see, like, it's such a perfect shade match for me. And the coverage is medium, but I find that this is pretty much all you need. Like if you go into red carpet stuff, then you might go a little bit heavier, but I find this is about as much as I need to get coverage. And you can see that shade match is perfect. So if you guys haven't checked out Mented yet, please check them out. They are so wonderful. I'm just gonna be using a beauty blender here just to Blend in that foundation, make sure it gets everywhere and into the skin. So I'm pressing in. I'm gonna just add a little bit more over here. Just give a little bit additional coverage because this is medium, but in some spots on my face, I do need full coverage. So I'm gonna be on the cheeks, especially for me. So I'm just going in here. What I love about this foundation is it's, it's really creamy. And for my skin, because of course I am approaching 50, all right? So, you know, everything is showing. The texture, pores, everything for me is like right there. So I really love this foundation because you can see, look at that. It's so pretty in terms of its coverage and just how smooth it makes everything look. You really just can't go wrong with this. And these are perfect for traveling too. So I definitely highly recommend them if you're gonna travel because they're so super portable. All right, they're just in a little teeny stick. You can throw a couple of things in your makeup bag and go. I'm gonna be going in for my, my concealer with the shade Tan 30 because I wanna create a little bit of brightening under my eyes. 
And because this is foundation, it just, to me, just kind of soaks right into the skin, which is what I'm looking for because the pores and the texture are real, okay? So I'm just gonna put some right in the center of my face right there and just under the nose and around my nose just to make sure that the light in the middle of my face is there. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just blend in. So I don't know if you all have been watching, but um, I am just really, really tired of this whole discussion about women's reproductive rights. And I really got mad at Nike. And for some of you who know me personally, I do run. And I got super upset with Nike because of how they've been treating women um, for their maternal like health. Like really, if you're an athlete and you get pregnant, Nike will drop you or they wanna drop your pay. And I think that's completely ridiculous. So needless to say, I'm making a stand, okay? I will not be supporting Nike anymore. I'm not gonna be wearing Nike um apparel because i just feel like whatever the brand is they need to be supporting women and giving equity and stop messing with women's uterus so you know <laughs> for a woman who's been 50 and has had three children i think it's so imperative for us to provide maternity leave a decent amount of paid maternity leave for women and i just think it's just really ridiculous that we as a country don't give paid maternity leave as a standard. Um, I just find it really amazing that that's the case. So um, I will not be purchasing any Nike gear. Um, if somebody gives me Nike gear, I'll not wear it. And I won't be using their running app anymore because I just feel like if the company doesn't have a strong policy to protect and endorse their female athletes as they go through their lives, as women, then I'm not gonna support you. You know, same thing for me with Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you will not get a dime from me. Um, if I find out that you are not supporting women's reproductive rights, you can't get my money. That's it, okay? So, uh, I know I was on a little bit of a soapbox there, but that's that. So, I have just blended in that foundation, and you could see that, that you get the coverage and it's just so smooth. I'm just finding that using this found, this foundation as my concealer has really been making a big difference for me um, in terms of my makeup and just how it looks. So that's that. What I'm what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put um, Fenty's uh, powder foundation on just in those spots. This is the color 360. And I've been doing this for about a week and I find that, you know, the the coverage for my concealer is a little bit better and smoother with the application. So I'm doing this first and then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my um, Thrive Cosmetics setting powder over this okay so that's what i've been doing recently and i'm really really happy with the finish and i find that my my um concealer is not like just settling in lines as much so i'm really really happy with it so what i'm going to do now is just go in with my thrive cosmetic setting powder so yeah this is like i guess this is a day a little bit for my soapbox because i just feel like as women we really have to make a stand for and support women as they are going through their, their reproductive years. And you shouldn't be penalized as a woman because you get pregnant, you know? It shouldn't hurt your earning potential. And this is the, this is not the first time that, that this has come to light about Nike. So Nike, you won't get none of my money. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and you all know, I don't have to tell you this, okay? My favorite, eyebrow um pencil is from um the lip bar and i do <laughs> i know y'all so sick of me with the with the lip bar but i just love the lip bar so i really love this pencil i've told you many times so this is not anything new so i'm just gonna just shade in my eyebrows just to get them a little bit more pronounced there and i do have decent eyebrows okay so it's not like i i don't have to do that much but i do like to have my eyebrows just looking neat 
um and also because all my powders get into my eyebrows and they just kind of make things not look so great so this is a little bit messy of an application i don't pretend to be a eyebrow expert but i do like to have my eyebrows shaded in okay <laughs> so eyebrows i feel satisfied with that just gonna finish up the front of this i feel good about it i love this color too because like i said in the past it's their quick draw two-in-one brow gel and pencil and I really love it because it's a brown, but it doesn't, it's not too, too dark. And I do have dark hair, but I don't want my eye, my eyebrows to look angry. So I really like that eyebrow pencil from the lip bar. So I'm gonna do my eyes now. So I'm gonna just apply some bronzer and I'm using the Fenty um, bronzer and Coco Naughty. And I'm just using that to just create that additional dimension on the face. It really is nice to just warm up the middle of your face. So I'm using Fenty's Coconati for that. And I, I really do like this um, bronzer quite a bit. I do really like it. I'm gonna just put that at the top. And this is why I like to wear this, this um, scarf because you want to put your bronzer like right where the sun would naturally hit your face up top i don't have a huge forehead but because my hair is so short you can really see everything you know so i just like to have that so it just bronzes the the framing of my face Ooh, i'm knocking over the table over here okay so that's what we're doing okay so that's it so that's kind of one of my soap boxes that i'm on um this week is women's reproductive rights and men over here telling and taking away our power to earn money. It's ridiculous, okay? I don't know how you all feel about that. I'm curious. Um, let me know what your thoughts are around that. So I'm gonna do my eyes and I'm doing my eyes with the mented, um, first what I'm gonna do is put some bronzer on the top of my eyes, okay? And I do, you all know I like to use bronzer up top. So I just, this is just the perfect combo it just brings your face together so i always even though there are other shades that i like and sometimes i do use like a color like i like to use an orange but um for today we're gonna use the same coco naughty from fenty just to frame the top of the eyes okay and in the crease and it just creates just like that additional warmth especially because you're not trying to do too much okay so i do like to use um bronzer for that and then i'm gonna just use that same bronzer you all know i like to do this so i'm going to use that same bronzer on the bottom of my eyes on my lower lid okay just to give some additional color there not too much just a little subtle color to the bottom okay So I'm gonna be using my Mented Palette. This thing is worn out, okay? I love it so much. This is their Everyday Eyeshadow Palette and I really love it. I gotta get the other one. I have not um, bought in yet. <laughs> I will get it, okay? I just haven't gotten the other one. I've seen it and I just, I need to get to Ulta because they, you know, of course they sell um, Mented in Ulta. So I'm going in with this shade right here. And this palette is so wonderful for everyday use. And I'm just gonna build that, that coverage up right in the front of my eyes. I'm using this really lighter shade just to do that, just to give a little bit of a color pop at the front. And then what I'm gonna do is take this burgundy shade on my finger and just put it right at the corner of my eye just to give a little bit additional dimension right there. I just love this burgundy shade, by the way. It's so pretty. It's pretty on the eyelids, but I really like to use it in the corner. I'm going to take that small little brush and just get really targeted in the crease as well. And it's such a pretty palette. Um, it, it's just a great everyday palette. I love it so much. So this is the Mented Everyday Shadow Palette. I'm gonna get the other one that they have, okay? Unless Minted, y'all wanna send this to me. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad. 
all right so i do love this palette so much it just it's just so pretty so that the eyes are done um with eyeshadow what i'm gonna do is on my lower lids, on my lower lids, what I'm gonna do is go in with my Marc Jacobs brown pencil. And I'm just gonna, I like, nowadays, re recently I've been coming over into the, the corner of my eye with a pencil. I just find it just kind of elongates the eye. And I have huge eyeballs, okay? <laughs> They're huge. I told you, I think I told y'all in a video before, like my, my aunt used to tell me, like my grandmother used to say, I have an acky seed eye, you know, I come from Jamaica already, okay? I'm going to go in with my Stiller, Stilla um, liquid eyeliner pencil, their Stay All Day Eyeliner Pencil in intense black for the top. And I'm just going to do just my, um, the line of my eye. All right, maybe I lied. And this is, I love this black. This black pencil is real. It is so black. And I'm going to just go right over into the corner of my eye. Okay. I love this pencil. I'm so, I picked up a couple of them in one of the Ulta sales and I'm so glad I did. I've been using the Urban Decay pencil for quite some time, but I decided to change up and I'm really happy I did. I really like this pencil. So if you like um, a liquid liner and you want an intense black, Stiller's pencil is amazing, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna do my cheeks because I feel really satisfied with how that looks, okay? This is coming out good. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with my Mented Blush. This is the color Peach for the Stars. It's a super, on me, it's a super subtle, it's a beautiful coral orange color gorgeous and they actually have a bundle on this right now so i would encourage you to get it um but i just love this because it's just a little bit of sh it has a little shimmer in it and just has a little subtle color look at that oh and i think i told you all before i am terrified of my pores and so i don't tend to wear highlighter so i love um these these um blushes with a little shimmer in it. you can see the shimmer look at that mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, just give you a little, a little zhuzh, a little zhuzh, okay. So, this is Mented's Peach for the Stars, honey. And you know, this is, whew, your girl is feeling good. Okay, I'm putting a little bit on my nose too, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I am really liking how that, oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to put on falsies today, which I never do, but I'm going to be trying out this new brand that I saw on Facebook. It is a black owned brand. It's from Ashley Kennedy. Look at the packaging. So cute. And um, this set is called San Diego. So that is it. So it's kind of a subtle set. So I'm going to try these on. I'm going to do this off camera because y'all don't want to see me putting on falsies. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so falsies are on <laughs> right now. Uh, it was, the struggle was real, but I did get them on and I'm loving them, okay? So these are so subtle, um, but really, really nice. So uh, if you want a little zhuzh, I would definitely check out um, Ashley, King, Ashley Kennedy and her lash line. You can get them online and they are really, really pretty. So definitely check that out so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to go in with mented number five i have lined my lips with max um chestnut y'all know that's my favorite okay so i'm gonna go in with mented number five and this lipstick is so smooth okay it's supposed to be a matte but it is so moisturizing so that is it and maybe I'll put a little bit of this um, baby brown over it. Why not? You know, when you have one of those days where you are feeling yourself and today is one of those days. Hello. 
okay so uh i hope that you um enjoy this video thank you for joining me on my journey to 50 and um yeah check out mented and their lip colors and their cheek colors and their foundation and their eye colors uh mented can be found at mented.com of course uh mented is m-e-n-t-e-d because i do have an accent or you can find them at ulta okay um i think target is selling them now too but i'm not sure but definitely at ulta ulta has the entire line so you can find them there and they have everything that you need bronzers you name it so definitely check out mented there's a shade for everybody and there's a lot of products that i have not featured but um i'm really excited about this face today thank you for joining me and um yeah have a wonderful day and if you're not winking at yourself do that today honey okay yes Thank you, ladies. Bye.